Hello, I'm Frank. I'm an earth scientist and use infrared images to detect and map minerals. Normally I use infrared images to study rocks, but in this tutorial I'll show you how I detect minerals in makeup with infrared imagery. The reason for this is my contribution to a Dutch television program about raw materials. The program, which is called Bodem in Zicht, aims at creating awareness about minerals that are contained in products that people use on a daily basis, and also about where these minerals come from. In the episode of Mica, a nice and glittering mineral, I used an infrared camera to detect mica in eyeshadow. Since there wasn't enough time to explain how this works exactly, I came up with the idea to make a short video in which I explain how one can detect mica in makeup with use of an infrared camera. At the University of Twente, where I work, we use this technique to detect minerals in a variety of materials. Okay, let's start with the tutorial. Okay, first I'll show you a photograph of the setup that we use to acquire the images. What you see here is the infrared camera, and here is the makeup that we imaged. Before I show you an image of the, of the makeup, I'll show you an infrared image of a mica mineral. For this I use the software Hyperspectral Python, I open an image viewer, and open the following image. What you see here in grayscale is a sheet of mica of the type of muscovite, so this is a sheet of muscovite, and when I click on a, on a pixel, I get a reflectance spectrum of the mineral in the infrared. And so this is what the infrared image looks like. This reflectance spectrum shows on the x-axis the wavelength of the infrared radiation in nanometers. And it, here it ranges from approximately 1000 to 2450 nanometer. And on the y-axis you can see the reflectance ranging, well, it should range from, from zero up to 35% in this example. This is a typical reflectance spectrum of uh, the muscovite mica. I'll show you what is typical about it. There is reduced reflectance at around 2200 nanometer, which is here. This is what we call an absorption feature. And the position and the shape of this absorption feature is typical of muscovite. There's another feature here, which is quite clear at 1408. And that's another feature that's typical of muscovite. Okay. So, let's now open the infrared image of the makeup. That's this image. So here you can, you can see the 12 different types of, of eyeshadow. For comparison, I show a normal photograph of the same eyeshadow. I can click on the pixel here in this eyeshadow, and then we get a reflective spectrum, yeah, similar as what I showed before. It shows the reflectance in the infrared, and we see a variety of absorption features. Um, there are many absorption features, and not all of them are because of mineral constituents. What we see here is a feature at 2200 nanometer, which is because of muscovite mica. And there's an inflection point here at this feature, which is also because of muscovite. But there are other absorption features, these ones for instance, they are related to paraffin, which is also a constituent of the eyeshadow. It's a uh, greasy-like substance which enables you to smear the, uh, the eyeshadow on your eyelids. 
um, this feature is also because of paraffin some features here as well and then there's another feature here a typical absorption feature which may be due to another constituent of the eyeshadow what I did next was um, to show the depth of the feature at 2200 in color and therefore I processed the image and obtained a new image oh. this one and the orange color indicates the presence of this absorption feature of the muscovite mica I will also open a legend so that we know what we're looking at um, the orange well the color refers to the wavelength position of this uh, absorption feature and you can see that the uh, the orange pixels they have an absorption feature slightly shorter than 2200 nanometer which is due to the muscovite mica the intensity of the color refers to the depth of the absorption feature you can see that in two of the mica of the eyeshadows we have relatively high uh, depths of the absorption feature which um, can be explained by a higher abundance of the of the mica in the eyeshadow then there are one two three four five other eyeshadow with shallow absorption feature but they still contain the muscovite mica and then we have one two three four five other types of eyeshadow that contain but that, that do not contain muscovite mica i can also show the reflectance spectra of the different types of mica so this one for instance it shows a reflective spectrum that looks like this with a relatively deep absorption feature this one here has a much shallower absorption feature and then this type of my well eyeshadow doesn't show any indications of, uh, of muscovite mica there's a much lower reflectance and no not very clear absorption features since we're looking at mixtures of mineral constituents and paraffin um, we would like to remove the paraffin in order to get a better view on the minerals on the mineral constituents of the of the eyeshadow so therefore we dissolved uh, some of the eyeshadow in a dissolvent to get rid of the uh, the paraffin we used petrol for it um, well, the Dutch word is was benzene, but it's, a, it's a some type of type of petrol that dissolves the paraffin. Uh, the device that we used for this uh, to separate the mineral constituents from the dissolved uh, paraffin is shown here. So the petrol is here on top. The mineral constituents they settle here at the bottom. And using this device, we can separate the uh, the minerals. We kept them in the oven for some time uh, to remove all the petrol from the eyeshadow. And what remained was a powder. The powder we imaged again with the infrared camera. And I'll show the image what it looks like. powder is put in a petri dish and that's what you see here so this eyeshadow um, well when you remove the paraffin this is what remains so we can click on a pixel and then we get this reflective spectrum some of the absorption features by paraffin they've been removed and we can see that other absorption features become much clearer now. And so what we have here is a deeper muscovite mica absorption feature. This one is still here. 
But we can also see that there's another absorption feature at 2300 and another feature here at 1400. And they are because of another mineral in the eyeshadow, and that's talc. That's a clay mineral. Um, people use it to prevent babies from getting diaper rash. Um, so that is uh, together with paraffin and mica, also a constituent of the eyeshadow. The other type of eyeshadow that did not contain muscovite mica was also washed with petrol. And this is the powder that remains. I can also show you a reflectance spectrum of that uh, material. And you can see that the reflectance is still very low. There are not, no clear absorption features. Uh, the reason for this is, is most likely that it contains um, a phlogopite, which is a darker mica, and it's uh, a synthetic uh, phlogopite. So it's not a natural phlogopite, but it was uh, fabricated uh, artificially. And this type of mica doesn't contain much water, but fluor instead. And therefore, it doesn't show the, the clear absorption features that we see in the uh, muscovite mica spectra. Okay, so what we can conclude here is by using the infrared camera, we can see that there is high abundances of muscovite in two types of, of eyeshadow. There are lower abundances of, of, of muscovite mica in five other types of eyeshadow. And the remaining five, they do not contain muscovite mica, but most likely a synthetic phlogopoid. Okay, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope that you found it instructive. I intend to create more videos about the use of infrared images, particularly in geology, in the future. Thank you for watching, and now it's time for a cup of coffee.